All right, welcome Algebra 1. Here we go, guys. We are jumping into Section 7 today. So Chapter 7, Section 7, Mixture Problems. But really what we're doing here is unit costs. That's the main thing that we're going to be understanding and accomplishing uh, by the end of this section. Okay, These notes are super short. We're going to get right to the point. You are presently looking at all the notes. All right, so you're welcome. Let's jump right into it. Okay, everything that you need essentially for how to solve for unit cost is right there in the first note. To find the unit cost, all right, so let's go ahead right here. We're talking unit cost, all right? You're going to find a specific amount. How are you going to do that? Taking the total cost and dividing it by the amount given. Boom. That's the key piece. All right, to find the unit cost, how do we do it? Take the total cost, which the total cost is always going to be given with a capital C, total cost. Divide it by the amount that you're working with, which is a lowercase a. That's the amount. All right, so we're talking capital C divided by lowercase a. That's the simple equation that we're using. All right. I do want you to understand you might be using a little bit of long division because there's a few of these problems that don't work out perfectly, meaning you're going to get a decimal and you need to solve for that decimal. Okay, But in this case, I'm good as long as you just work it out to two decimal places. If you find that it keeps going, cut it off at two decimal places. That's plenty for what we're working with for the unit cost. Okay, so there's an example that we worked out. If you're given a total cost of $32, let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, again, a total cost of $32, and $32 gets you an amount of four ounces, whatever this is that you would be purchasing must be extremely popular, and it's very expensive because you're only getting four ounces and it costs $32. So how do you calculate that? As I already said, capital C divided by the lowercase a, and this is what you do right here. There's your $32 divided by four ounces, giving you a unit cost. And if you didn't know what unit cost is, that means per one unit, and what are the units we're talking about here? Ounces. So per one ounce, it's costing you $8, all right? Or as this simplistic, break it down, $8 per ounce. That's all we're doing, all right? So let's jump into the first example problem that we have here. All right, remember, equation, total cost divided by amount, meaning 25 divided by 5. Everybody should be saying this screaming it out loud, it's five, all right? Now, we're not done because units do matter. Just like in the last section, the units do matter. So what does five tell us? All right, we're trying to find the unit cost. So that means this is $5 per, you can just draw that slash, which stands for per, and then pound, $5 per pound. Notice the little difference here. This is plural because you're talking about five pounds, but in the unit cost, you're just talking about a singular one pound. Five dollars per one pound. That's it. All right, so that's the total answer that we're looking at here. And let's do example problem number two. Again, total cost divided by amount seven point two divided by 12. All right, there should be a couple red flags going off in your head. One, wow, I'm working with a decimal, don't like the decimals. So let's get rid of it. Move this decimal over one space, making 7.2 actually become 72. But what you do to one, you must also always remember to do to the other. So that means there is a decimal right here for 12. We're going to move it one time to the right, 
filling it in with a zero, meaning this is now going to be 120. So again, you're looking at 72 divided by 120. You can see that is not going to create a whole number. That is, in fact, going to create a decimal. So partial part of a number. This is where the long division comes in. All right, and if you don't remember what's on top, this is the in divided by the out. So that means we actually have 120 trying to go in to 72. Always remember to put your decimal and then bring it up and put it up top. Remember, you can put a zero here because there's an infinite number of zeros that go after any whole number. You never need to write them, but for long division, they're important. They come into play. So we're looking at 120, can't go into 7. 120, can't go into 72. So we need to start by putting a zero right there. That's like our placeholder. There is no whole number that works. So we now need to determine 120 going into 720. All right. Now, I'm telling you guys in advance, you're probably going to want to do a little bit of a logical guess and check. But just to save us time here, it works out perfectly. All right. So to skip ahead, it works out perfectly. And it is 6. 120 times 6 is 720. Okay. So you work that out, you get 0.6. But now we need to write that as a unit for unit cost. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about 0 0.6 for our dollar amount per ounce. That's what you're looking at here. So in other words, 60 cents, 0 0.6 of a dollar is 60 cents per ounce. That's it. All right, that's all I got for you today, guys. Let's zoom out. That way you can see everything right there, all in one clear picture. That's your notes. That's your example problems. And that's all I got for you. All right. Listen, ask questions. Take ownership of your grade. Take ownership of that education. Got questions? Ask them. I'll make sure to go over it in class. We'll see you guys in the next video.